Julian Gillardi, Grunt Baseball, Yankees top five pitching prospects that can make an impact next year. We start with number five, Johnny Brito. He was just added to the 40-man roster, so it was a very real shot he could make his major league debut this year. Brito, the 22nd ranked prospect, eighth pitcher. 2015 signs at DR, 24 years old. His changeup is the best pitch besides his fastball. He's also got a curve and a slider. He has very good control. And he has a lot of great elements to work with. His fastball is in 98 plus. And the cool thing is, I got to watch him pitch in double A this year. He split time in triple A. That's what those highlights were. Now this is back to double A. He was 11 and 4 combined, ERA under 3, 91 Ks, 112 innings. So he pitches the contact a little bit. He uses that changeup to produce ground balls. And he's very effective on the mound. And he's earned this opportunity. He's been in the system for seven plus years. He did well at both levels. And now we're going to get to see if he gets to make his major league debut this season. And that will be very exciting. Here you see him as spring training with the Yankees. Striking out a few Tigers. And maybe this is where they first started to think about adding him to the 40-man roster. Now here's Randy Vasquez. Another addition to the 40-man. The fourth-ranked pitcher. He's their 14th-ranked prospect and ranked sixth of the pitchers in their system. Now for Vasquez, he was signed to 2018 at Dominican Republic, very late. He had one last chance to impress. He was a position player at first, but then they said he had to pitch, and did he really pitch well? You better believe it. His best pitch is his curveball, and he's even told us how he learned to throw it by spinning bottle caps. And Vasquez is a beast. He really came on the scene this year. He ended his season with eight no-hit innings. His ERA, if you factor in the championship, was a 379. He had 134 Ks, 129 innings, all a double A. And I would not be surprised if he ends up starting a triple A next year. And then he finds his way onto the Major League roster. It will be well deserved. He ended the season as strong as he possibly could. And there you see a little slide piece he has as well. His breaking pitches are just nasty. And Vasquez is really legitimate. He he just knows how to pitch, his change up too, and all of his pitches he can throw for strikes. Vasquez consistently hits for a 94 to 96, but he's topped out of 98, and I'm excited to see if he makes his major league debut. Number three, Yoandres Gomez, 12th ranked prospect, 4th ranked pitcher, recovered from Tommy John and did very well in limited action last year. He was signed to the Venezuela in 2016. The Yankees have been high on this kid for a while. Fastball could reach up to 98. His secondary pitches, his curve and his slider are his best ones. He had a great outing in the championship, going five innings and helping the Somerset Patriots rally down 1-0. His ERA in the year was 2-6. This is once you factor in the championship game. 52 innings, 55 strikeouts. He started at 3 in Tampa, worked his way up to Hudson, of course, ends in Somerset. Next year, I would think he starts in Somerset, but I can see him quickly rising to AAA. And he is also on the 40-man roster. And like all these other guys, can definitely compete for a major league spot at some point next year. I would guess maybe later on in the year, but Gomez has a lot of great things going for him, and his future is very, very bright. Hopefully he can stay healthy. Clayton Beater. He's a second-ranked pitcher prospect and ninth overall for the Yankees. Beater came over in a Joey Gallo trade. He was drafted in the supplementary draft in 2020 from the Dodgers due to various injuries, and Beater really turned the corner when he got to Somerset. He struggled mightily with the Dodgers in AA, but in Somerset, 30 innings pitch, 47 strikeouts, ERA of 1-8. He's topped out at 98. That high fastball is such a weapon for him. His curveball is his best secondary pitch. He ended his playoff run with five innings and one run in the semifinals. And great things for Clayton Beater ahead. He could very well make his major league debut next year. Number one, Will Warren. The Yankees' top pitching prospect and eighth overall. Warren was drafted in the eighth round of the LSU. And he was a fast riser last year. Working his way up to double A. Really impressive considering he was drafted in 2021. His sliders, his plus pitch. You know the Yankees love that. Fastball hits around 95. His ERA was around 4, 129 innings, 125 Ks, and split time in Hudson Valley and Somerset. Warren is going to be a guy that's going to be on the radar very, very quickly. Warren pitched his most career innings by far, going 40-plus from what he did in college. And he admitted it was a challenge. It was a struggle to try to get through it. And he managed it pretty well. And I think next year he's going to build on that even more. I think he probably starts in double A. But can get a very quick call to triple A. And obviously in triple A. You know you're one step away from the show. That nasty slide piece right there. And Warren was mowing him down. And he continued to do it all year long. Very impressive year for Will Warren. It was really cool because I got to see most of these guys sober the championship. <laughs> The Yankees' pitching future looks bright. If you like this content, subscribe to Grunt Baseball.